I'm going to take your ponytail holders out and then you'll be able to lay back and be comfortable. <laughs> You've got like a lion mane. Your crown is your glory. <laughs> All this beautiful curly hair. <laughs> I love it. So thick. You getting some relief from that ponytail? Yeah, this way I can get some relief from the ponytail all the time. Oh, you don't like the ponytail holders? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could just leave it down all the time. Well, we could probably do some loose twists. The reason why we put it up in ponytails is so it won't get tangled. So we can do that. So I'm going to wash my daughter's hair with the Sacred um, Lines Clarifying Shampoo and Scalp Cleanser. You can see her hair is, this is like a two-week-old um, twist out. It needs some, love. maybe not two weeks, but definitely like about ten days. Lay back, my beauty. <laughs> I'm just going to wet her hair down to begin with. This water is lukewarm. I'm going to move this camera so you can see better. She likes to watch um, her iPad when we do this. Her hair takes a little minute to get wet. I'm gonna just take my ring off so I don't snag her hair. And then I'm gonna take this. Now this um, cleanser is Thickums McGee. So. I can't get the cap off. Okay, this is thick, so I'm going to kind of part her hair and do a line. This is what I would wish I would have done with my hair. Part her hair, do a line, and scrub. And what I did not do is I didn't saturate my hair as much as I've saturated hers. So I feel like I use more product than necessary. <laughs> But I learned my lesson. This smells minty. So it's very much so like a spa-like kind of feel. Do the same thing. Oh, I splashed your forehead. I'm sorry, Nugget. I love you. I apologize for that. Do I get it together, Mama? Still messing up. You have to wipe her face. But you can see how viscous this is. If I would change anything, I would add something to the shampoo to make it slide a little bit easier. So I'm just wetting her hair for spreadability. But I will say this when you get it saturated right, look how good this lathers. That lather is on point. That is a good lather. Her hair smells amazing. I do feel like now that I have it where it needs to go, it is doing its job. It has lots of detergent surfactant in that it wets the hair well and 
suds up. And that's what you want in a shampoo to remove that dirt and grime out of the hair. So I'm pleased with that. Now, because this doesn't spread very well though, it did not get the bottom. So I'm gonna put that out of the way. Add some to my hands, but look at all these bubbles. Yes, yes, sacred. I'm gonna raise that up and get the back of this hair because we don't wanna just cleanse the top and the middle. We wanna cleanse the back. I'm gonna scoot your towel back, lovely. So I'm just trying to show you basically the effort that it takes to get this to go through the hair. Um, just to be realistic with you about that. And you saw how dry, desiccated, a little bit even tangly her hair was when you first got started. I'm just blocking this water so it doesn't completely splash her face. Trying not to wet up her forehead since she already made it clear that she does not want me to do that. So I'm just trying to not wet up her. I'm going to turn your head to the side, my love. And come, yes, back a little bit. Yes. Oh, that was a little bit warm. I apologize. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. Thank you for letting me know. You're helping mama. You're a smart cookie, you're helping me. I'm just making sure I have all the shampoo out of her strands because what I don't want is shampoo to be left in the hair strands, making the hair dry or on the scalp, making the scalp itchy. So I'm just thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly getting all that shampoo out. I'm gonna grab my phone and come a little bit closer so you can get a better sense of what her hair is looking like. Oh, Quinn's curls are slowly coming back. It'll be even better i'm sure once we're able to condition so we'll be right back after i put the conditioner in her hair and we'll go from there wait So this is the Sacred Deep Moisturizing Hair Mask. Um, I described these products in an upload where it was basically a talk through, not really demonstrating their use for my hair and my thoughts. Um, even though this is marketed as a moisturizing um, mask, it does, I wanna be fully transparent, contain fermented keratin protein um, and honey 
Honey, of course, you know, is a humectant. That's what's going to attract moisture into the hair strands, but it does have some protein. It is not in the first three ingredients, so it's not a ton of protein. But some people don't want protein on particular wash days or in their products at all if they're not specifically doing that treatment. So I just want to warn you that pretty much all of the products in this line have that kind of signature ingredient, um, which is that fermented keratin with the honey mixture. And um, that is meant to help with strengthening the hair to prevent damage. Um, our hair is made of protein. Um, and so she's just trying to, with this particular, I believe, line is preserve that protein and embed it throughout the hair at every step of the wash. So this is my daughter's hair at initial application. Of course, you know, we're going to wear a plastic cap and put her bonnet over it. But I was able much easier to get this in my daughter's hair. And I'm actually doing some light detangling than I was into my hair. My hair was not as saturated as my daughter's. So I think that's why it was more difficult for me to spread the product. It is going in her hair much more seamlessly and her hair feels really good as I'm applying it. I'm just going to do one more section and then we are going to pause for the cause to let her hair marinate under a plastic shower cap and a hair bonnet. <laughs> so this is more application here I'm blocking her little iPad your hair is blocking my iPad I'm so sorry now I'm twisting this away as well while we concentrate conditioner more towards the ends of the hair. I am going to put a little bit in this area right here where I missed on the roots and I always make sure I get her edges. Our edges sometimes because they're pulled and gelled and stuff need some loving. They get a little bit weak but these are her juicy little twists. I'm going to do this part of her hair off camera and then I'm just going to grab a plastic cap so I'm gonna put a plastic little shower cap. You can get like 50 to 100 of those off of Amazon. Then I'm gonna put her bonnet on top. I'm gonna let her run around and play for a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes. Then we'll come back, we'll rinse it out. And after we come back and rinse it out, we're gonna do our leave-in, our oil. And this line does not have a styler, so I'm gonna let you know now. I'm gonna use the Kinky Curly um, curling custard as our styler, but I'll show you her hair before I put that in so that doesn't distort what you're able to see. But for her final results, just note that it has that styler. And we'll be back. <laughs> 